For the monster in the square, you're really saying Hand is going to take over the remaining investigation? Absolutely positive. We heard it firsthand, together with the Bellabog Industries people. The monster's remains will still be collected by public security, of course. But the automated evidence carrier will bring the remains to Hand once it passes through the hollow. Yeah, I get it. Hand is better than public security at investigating this kind of weird stuff. They've always had a pretty delicate relationship. That PopSec officer seems decent, though. Being willing to put all that aside and hand over the case. Oh, it's getting late. I can't stay in chat. I have a client meeting scheduled later. Anyway, I'll do my best to help look for Rain, so keep an eye out for some good news. Thanks, Nicole. Bye. Hey, Wise. I take it that you've told Nicole about the mission to find Rain. Yeah. Nicole figured that we were related to what happened in the square, so she called to ask. I explained everything and told her about the mission to find Rain. By the way, Kaleida also called earlier to say public security confirmed the time to collect the monster's remains. Hopefully, Hand will be quick to figure things out once they get the evidence. Fingers crossed. Anyway. Whether it's the investigation or the search for rain, all we can do now is wait for news. Since we don't have a lot on our plate right now, let's drop by the public security office sometime in the next couple of days. Hmm? What are we gonna do over there? I'm surprised you've forgotten. Our driver's licenses are about to expire. It was Fairy who noticed it the other day. Master. I've applied for a driver's license renewal for you and second assistant on the Public Security's official website. But unfortunately, the collection of the new licenses must be done in person. Let's visit their office in Lumina Square soon then, to collect our new driver's licenses. The metro to Lumina Square is always crowded. Let's just drive there.
this is exhausting. I had no idea it'd be so hard to find a parking space here. We should have just taken the metro. Sorry, it's my bad. I forgot to check if there was parking before we left. But we haven't gotten much exercise lately, so let's just consider it a workout? You're the one who never exercises. The only time you run is when you're using Eos's body. Speaking of things we haven't done lately, it's been ages since we had a good meal. Since that dinner with the cunning hairs, right? All that complaining about being tired. I knew there was more to it than that. <laughs> we deserve to treat ourselves with all our hard work lately. What do you think? How about we have a meal somewhere nearby when we're done? Seeing as our profit for this month has been picking up, sure. Hooray! You're the best! Let me see what's good around here. Uh, why is the signal so weak? What's wrong, Belle? Tell me it's broken. Are you all right? Are you hurt? Bell, uh, Bell, are you okay? Are you injured? Uh, I'm okay. Mm, have we met somewhere before? Hmm? Have we? Sorry, I think we've mistaken you for somebody else. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yuan, Ching Yi, thank you so much for your help this afternoon. If it weren't for you acting so fast, I'd probably be lying in the hospital right now. <sighs> Don't mention it. Keeping citizens safe is our duty as public security officers. And we're thankful for your cooperation. All that paperwork took some time. Have you determined the cause of the accident? We can't say for sure right now. The driver is fine physically, but he doesn't remember anything leading up to the accident. But don't worry, every problem has a solution. We'll find a way to get to the bottom of this. It's getting late. Why don't you two head home? Feel free to contact us if you recall any further details about the accident. Thanks again for your help, you two. If you pass by 6th Street in the future, be sure to visit our video store. I'll give you a free membership card. So you live on 6th Street. I expect we'll run into each other soon. Oh? What do you mean? Hold on, Ching Yi. Being vague could give the wrong impression. Here, take a look at this. It should better explain what she's talking about. The officer on the flyer looks familiar. That's Bringer, Deputy Commander of PubSec HQ in Janus Quarter. Ching Yi and I were actually sent to the Lumina branch temporarily by Inspector Bringer to prepare for this event. We'll be holding a big safety lecture here soon for the citizens. The two of us will be visiting nearby neighborhoods and distributing the questionnaires to encourage them to attend. I see. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thanks. Please, keep the questionnaire. If you're interested in the seminar, you can fill in your info and give it to us when we visit 6th Street. See you again soon, managers. So, public security officers will be visiting 6th Street soon. That's never happened in all the time we've lived there. By the way, there's something else I want to discuss with you, Wise. It's about Ji Yuan and Ching Yi. What a coincidence. I want to discuss that too. But we shouldn't talk here. Their office is still nearby. Mm-hmm. Let's head home first.
All right, we can finally get back to our earlier discussion. About Ji Yuan and Qing Yi. I knew you'd notice too. It's not our first time meeting them. After Bellabog called Pubsec in the hollow, weren't they the officers who investigated? You were disguised as Eos at the time, so they weren't aware there was anyone apart from Bellabog Industries present. Thinking back, a lot was going on when they came to investigate. Honestly, the shock of finding that monster in the monument was so overwhelming. Everything else is a little fuzzy. We might bump into them again soon, so we should check the visual record of the investigation, just to be safe. Fairy, could you extract the data from back then? Yes, Master. I found the footage you require. Thanks for your cooperation. We have a rough idea of how things unfolded. Earlier today, you all ended up deep in the hollow after the bangboo with your carrot malfunctioned. Then you were attacked by an unknown monster right here. Is this the faulty bangboo? Yes, but uh, some of its parts might have been corrupted. We'll hand over a detailed repair report later. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure why, but something feels different about this Bing Boo. It looks unusually clever, almost cunning. Uh, <laughs> wait a sec, Jingyi. Saying things like that in front of the person filing the report might get us reported. Uh, let's put aside how they ended up in the hollow for now. Seems like Bellabog Industries has come across something quite extraordinary. Absolutely. I don't remember seeing anything with such unique traits in the records. Let me take a closer look at it. Hmm? Looks like there's something inside the crystal. Hmm. Ooh, don't touch that! All non-forensic officers are prohibited from handling evidence without proper authorization. Besides, it's too risky even if you've undergone corruption resistance treatments. Inspector, the crime scene is just up ahead. Where's that ferocious mon- I mean, the dangerous criminal. Uh, Inspector Bringer, what are you doing here? Oh, you two are in charge of the scene. Uh, here come two elites of our criminal investigation department. <laughs> Bring the suspect over. <clears throat> Get my good side when you take the picture. I need it for the headlines tomorrow. Inspector, the suspect isn't here. They were attacked by an unknown being with high ether activity. Huh? So it was just an ethereal? No, Inspector. It had some peculiar characteristics. We suspect it to be the result of hollow mutation or the product of some type of illegal activity. Hold, hold on. You see now, Ju Yuan. It's good to be vigilant as a public security officer, but the election is just around the corner. If we reveal the presence of an unknown monster in the hollows at this stage, my election, uh, I mean, the citizens will be put in fear. Public security shouldn't make any hasty announcements. We must investigate the matter thoroughly first. Rest assured, we've requested the collected evidence be given to hand for expert analysis. We're confident we'll soon be able to- What? It's being given to hand? <clears throat> I mean, you did the right thing. Still, let our forensics team handle the evidence collection. Hmm? You two have always been my trusted aides. So I have a very important task for you. It's clearly a very unique ether active being, yet Inspector Bringer wasn't interested in the slightest. At least he didn't say no to giving over the evidence to hand. Oh, now I get it. The important task Inspector Bringer mentioned is the seminar at the Lumina branch. What's so special about this seminar that he has to send Ju Yuan and Qing Yi to manage it? Fairy, are you able to bring up any info related to the seminar? I'm running a search on keywords Lumina Square and Public Security Safety Awareness Month. 
There are several relevant articles by multiple media companies. I shall read them. Given the recent surge in major incidents within the city this month, and aiming to safeguard urban security while enhancing public awareness, Janus District Public Security has decided to launch the Public Security Safety Awareness Month across the entire district. To provide citizens with practical information, Public Security has assigned several officers from the Criminal Investigation Department to assist in planning the event. Mr. Bringer, Commanding Officer of the District Headquarters and the driving force behind the event will also be in attendance at the seminar, which is to take place at the Lumina Branch. Along with the other officers in charge, Inspector Bringer will conduct a media interview during the event to address any concerns citizens may have. So, it's not just Inspector Bringer attending the seminar, but a bunch of media representatives as well. You hear that, Wise? Ju Yuan and Qing Yi will participate in the interview, too. Must be quite the honor for a public security officer, right? What do you think about this seminar? It's just a seminar to educate citizens about safety, so it wouldn't hurt to go. Besides, with top officials from public security attending, we might pick up some useful information. Okay, it's decided then. We'll tell Ji Yuan and Qing Yi we'd like to attend the event when they come to 6th Street in a few days. You need anything modded? You know where to find me. Questions, come find me anytime. I'll be here. Criminal cases have been rampant lately. To raise safety awareness among citizens, Janus Quarter Public Security has launched the Safety Awareness Month campaign. We'll be holding a seminar at the Lumina Branch soon. Please come and join us if you have time. A public security event? Oh, how nostalgic. I participated in such an event years ago, you see. It was somewhat reminiscent of a coffee tasting event. I even had the chance to offer everyone present some freshly ground coffee. Albeit, it wasn't a top-shelf roast. Oh, it's a shame public security's facilities now smell of air fresheners everywhere. No longer suitable places for enjoying coffee while freely conversing. Um, what do you mean? Of course, while fine wines develop into richer experiences with time, other worthy items can go bad. Oh, I'm talking of coffee beans. <laughs> 
So, to prevent the coffee beans at my shop from facing a sorrowful fate, I have to go grind them properly. I'm afraid I can't make the event. Now, if you'll excuse me. Mr. Enzo, according to our data, you're running a remodeling shop on 6th Street. Would you be interested in attending the seminar? Well, hey, it's not often I get invited out by two young ladies, so I'd love to join you. Unfortunately, my second aunt's grandfather's son's cousin is getting married that day. I can't miss such an important family event. Huh, I understand. In that case, I hope your relative has a great wedding. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I have a customer coming soon to collect his car. I better get back to it. Good morning, Zhu Yuan, Jing Yi. Good morning, Wise, Bell. Here are questionnaires. We've decided to attend the seminar. Wonderful. If it weren't for you two, we wouldn't have recruited a single participant yet. Jing Yi! That's blunt. So what? It's the truth. Besides, it's not like they're strangers, right? Yeah, right. But how come nobody on 6th Street wants to go to the seminar? Everyone here is usually pretty welcoming. Is there anything we can do to help? Now that you mention it, there is something I'd like to ask you. Some of the residents on 6th Street only registered their names, but didn't fill in their addresses. Do you know where they live? Oh, let me see. Asha, General Chop... Spike should be one of our members, an older gentleman. We know all these people. How about we help you take the questionnaires to them? That's a good idea. Sixth Street doesn't usually have much interaction with public security. So if they see officers handing stuff out all of a sudden, they might be wary and refuse. If it's a neighbor who brings them the questionnaire, maybe they'll be more open to it. We wouldn't want to trouble you. You two already did us a huge favor. It's only right we return the gesture. Zhu Yuan, since they're willing, we should let them help. Okay, thank you, really. Let's split up and meet back here later then.
Hello, Wise. Bell? Some customers mentioned you were looking for me. I understand you're helping those two officers from Public Security hand out questionnaires? General Chop, would you mind taking a look at this questionnaire? I'll pass. I figure it's about that seminar in Luminous Square. Anyway, please tell the officers I have other things to tend to that day. <sighs> I knew it. I had a feeling General Chop would say no before we even got here. And after I told Ju Yuan and Ching Yi we could help. Oh, have other people said no too? Yeah. Asha, Spike. Oh, and I think Tin Master and Enzo said no this morning too. You know, it is a little strange everyone is refusing. Maybe this seminar isn't as simple as we think. You've got that right. Do you two know who the guy on the questionnaire cover is? Isn't that Inspector Bringer? I heard he came up with the event. Then have either of you heard of the Hollow Hero from the Eridu period? So, you're saying Inspector Bringer was the Hollow Hero? That's right! Before the fall of the Old Capital, Bringer happened to be the commanding officer in my precinct. After being promoted from the front line, despite being an inspector, he still got involved at the ground level and interacted with the residents, so they regarded him highly. Then, he went missing in a hollow during a rescue mission. But just when everyone thought he was done for, he miraculously made it back out. Just like that, he became known as the Hollow Hero. He was then transferred to the HQ in Janus Quarter and quickly advanced to the ranks over the years. That's a pretty inspiring story. It used to be, but these days, people say the Hollows have drained the Hollow Hero of all his courage. Now, Bringer presents himself as a hard worker, but we older residents can see through it. He's just putting on an act in front of the cameras. What's more, in recent years, he's clearly been cozying up to tops. He's implemented a number of measures under the guise of benefiting the public, but it's those big corporations that benefit in the end. He's aiming for commander of Janus Quarter in the upcoming municipal election. Launching a safety campaign right now, even putting his own image on the questionnaire. His motives are pretty clear, don't you think? It seems like Inspector Bringer is using public resources for his own gain. Hmm. <laughs> exactly. Holding the seminar is a good thing, but I can't go knowing what Bringer is up to. Thanks for telling us all this, General Chop. I'm just sorry I can't be of help this time around. Well, we visited all the neighbors. It might be awkward, but it's probably time we go back and tell Ju Yuan and Ching Yi the news. We've gone up and down 6th Street, but we haven't even gotten 10 people to register for the seminar. We've done our best. Let's get a drink and take a break. Hey, easy for you to say, but the conference hall we're in can fit 300 people, you know? As things stand, it'll be more than half empty. Inspector Bringer must have chosen this area because there's a lot of residents nearby, thinking it'd be easier to find people to participate. Shame many of them are from his previous precinct. A lot of them have complaints about him. <sighs> I was just wondering why you're in such low spirits today, when I've never seen you discouraged by difficult tasks before. But then I remembered. The inspector saved your life once. Not being able to accomplish what we'd hoped, on top of seeing him come under fire. It must make you feel even worse. Mm-hmm. If Ringer hadn't rescued me in that hollow back then, I wouldn't even be here, let alone be a public security officer. I understand he's no longer the hero he used to be, but can someone who gave up his anti-corruption gear to a child be such a bad guy? Sure, he's had some dealings with Tops, but it's inevitable, especially when many of our devices are jointly developed with Tops. And, and besides... Doesn't he always say he lacks sufficient authority to make changes, hmm? If he gets elected, maybe he 
might be able to turn public opinion around. Worshipping an undeserving deity is sycophancy. Failure to act when action is needed shows a lack of courage. What? It means when someone flatters undeserving people, it's considered an act of sycophancy. If one should stand up for what is right but remains indifferent, it shows that person is a coward. As public security officers, we need to be clear about what we should and shouldn't do. There may be many different ways to interpret Inspector Bringer's actions, but only he knows whether he has a clear conscience. If his deeds were pure, even if he's misunderstood for the time being, things will work out in the end. Yeah, you're right. Hold on, someone's coming. Sorry, are we interrupting you two? Oh, we were just chatting. Did you go talk to the residents? We gave them the questionnaire, but they all happened to be busy on that day. Sorry for not being very helpful. Oh, it's okay. We're just grateful you tried it all. We're almost done with distributing the questionnaires here too. Then Chingy and I will be heading back to the office. Wait a minute! Officers! Uh, oh, oh, good. Uh, you didn't go. Uh, oh. General Chop, did you run all the way here? Why? It's hard to explain, but just now, there was a crime committed over there, and it's at a stalemate. Please, officers, you have to go take a look. A crime? Let's go check out the scene. Great. Please, follow me. Wise, let's go see what's going on. If you say there's officers nearby, then let them come and weigh in. I mean, what possible argument could there be? They were caught in the act. Sir, caught in the act doesn't seem fair. It's similar to seeing only foam on a cup of barley latte and declaring it isn't coffee. Calm down now, gentlemen. We're public security officers. What's going on here? Officers, you're finally here. It's like this. I'm Gail. I'm a driver for Pegasus Logistics. I was making a delivery in the neighborhood. I'd finished the delivery and was calling the next client when I heard a suspicious thud from the back of my truck. Startled by the noise, I quickly rushed over, only to find all my ducks flying and running out of the cargo compartment. A flustered Bang Boo was caught at the scene of the crime. This is that very Bang Boo. Look, Wise. Isn't that Bang Boo give change from the 141 convenience store? Officers, I saw the whole thing. There was no one around when it happened except this Bang Boo. I'm sure it opened my cargo compartment. Those ducks inside are a new specially bred variety. They're worth a fortune. Losing just one or two of them will cost me more than a month's salary. I've taken your statement, sir. Bang Boo, do you have anything to add? <laughs> Hey, what do you mean the door was open? I know you opened the door and let all the ducks out! Sir, if I might say, I think you're being too harsh on Give Change. Officers, as Give Change's neighbor, I must say something on their behalf. I know them well. And I'm sure they wouldn't do anything like this. Then tell me, why was my cargo compartment open despite being locked? Officers, there's been tons of Bangboo committed crimes in the city lately. 
You gotta help me find evidence linking this Bang Boo to the crime, so we can hold it accountable for my losses. This isn't just about Gift Change's reputation, officers. They could lose their job. You simply must uncover the truth and prove Gift Change's innocence. The only time I've seen Tin Master this agitated is when I asked for instant coffee. I don't think Gift Change is the culprit, Belle. We've dealt with the Bang Boo at the convenience store quite a bit, and they've always been honest. But Give Change was the only one there when the driver realized what had happened. So it's hard to explain. Hmm? Look, people are leaving. Have Ji Yuan and Ching Yi resolved the incident? Let's go see what's going on. Hi, Belle. Hi, Wise. We overheard what happened earlier. Does the crowd leaving mean everything has been resolved? Not yet, unfortunately. We discussed the situation and managed to calm everyone down. Might I ask what the situation is now? We took a look around the truck, and we didn't find anything suspicious, other than the traces left by the escaped ducks. There are no security cameras in the area. So all that's left to be checked is the Bang Boo's visual record and the truck's anti-theft system. And to review both of those, professional technicians are needed. So we don't have an immediate conclusion. Will that take a long time? I'm afraid so. It'll take about two or three days. Both the driver and Give Change will have their daily routine disrupted somewhat during this time. After we explained the situation, the driver said his main concern is the whereabouts of the cargo. As long as he can deliver the shipment on time today, he's willing to reconcile. So, Tin Master and some other residents of 6th Street went to look for the ducks. In that case, Wise, let's hurry up and go help too. We'll accompany you as well. Oh? I thought you were going back to the precinct. The driver may have proposed a solution. But there's a likelihood of further conflict until all the ducks are recovered, so we can't just walk away. Junior officers would usually be responsible for these types of cases, but handing the task over would take time, and we don't want residents to think public security is evading our responsibility to the public. And there's something suspicious about this incident, so Ching Yi and I decided to look for other clues while searching for the ducks. G-U-N, Ching Yi. Thank you. Then let's get going. We're pretty good at finding things, right, bro?
Ugh, really wise? You totally forgot to turn off the lights last time you drove the car. That's weird. I definitely turned them off. Also, it was dark when I came back, so I'd have noticed if I'd left the lights on. Huh? What's going on? I can't turn off the lights. Is something wrong with the switch? I don't know, but nothing happens when I press it. The battery's gonna die at this rate. I'd better manually disconnect the lights for now. How weird. The car got serviced not that long ago. I just figure something would go wrong all of a sudden. Hey, is it just my imagination, or does this situation seem familiar? Hmm? What's wrong, Chingy? Something on your mind? All the incidents we've encountered today are somehow related to vehicles. Now that you mention it, you're right. The van in the convenience store wouldn't start, the car that just pulled out of the remodeling shop broke down, and now Weisenbell's car lights won't turn off. If we count the missing ducks from Pegasus Logistics, that's already four vehicles involved. If we count the car accident the other afternoon, that's five in total. That one wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been distracted while walking, Bell. But that wasn't totally my fault, Wise. My cell phone suddenly malfunctioned, and it distracted me. Hmm? Huh? Bell's cell phone malfunctioned before the car accident at Lumina Square? What kind of malfunction? She said her phone suddenly lost signal, and a bunch of colorful stripes appeared on the screen. But it went back to normal soon after. Oh, I knew it. Remember, Chingy? The driver said he was on the phone at the time of the car accident. If I'm right, something else must have been going on back then. Right. That's probably why Give Change said it felt dizzy, too. Why do you two look so serious all of a sudden? I think we've finally figured out what's really behind all the recent incidents. For now, let's get the ducks back and see if we can confirm a few things along the way. Meet us near the truck later, and I'll explain everything. Zhu Yuan and Qing Yi told us to wait for them here. Did they come by? Oh, yeah. Here's all that happened. They just came and measured the Bangboo's electrical current data logs, asked a weird question, then left in a hurry. Could you tell us what they asked? They asked me if my cell phone had malfunctioned in any way, since I'd been on the phone during the incident. My phone actually did turn itself off out of nowhere, but how did they know that? Wait, your cell phone malfunctioned too? Uh, something just occurred to me. All the accidents lately. Could they be caused by EMP? You're quite right, Bell. Zhu Yuan, Qingyi, you're back. Have you ever heard of an EMP emitter, sir? I can't say I have. What's that? When activated, it causes a sudden change of current in nearby electronic equipment, resulting in component failures or, at worst, completely burning out the equipment. Using EMP, someone could open the electronic lock on your van without even touching it, easily. At the moment your door was opened, not only did your phone malfunction, but Give Change experienced a sudden surge of current, all indicative of an EMP attack. So, you mean, this Bang Boo is a victim, just like me? And someone else is at fault? Yes, we believe that to be the case. I shouldn't have been so hot-headed. What I said before... <laughs> Give change, I'm sorry I misjudged you. You have my sincerest apology. <laughs> so, who is the culprit, officers? Have you caught them? Don't worry. Our colleagues are checking the surveillance records. We should be able to identify the culprit real soon. 
they launched multiple EMP attacks today. So if we check all the passersby near the crime scenes, we can narrow down our search. Officer Zhu Yuan, we've investigated the surveillance records and have a suspect. We're currently tracking him near the street exit. Should we detain him for questioning? Immediately. Well done. Understood. Ah! Officer! The suspect has fled! He's heading toward your location! Qingyi! Come on! We'll stop him! Uh, okay. Whoa! Stop there! Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> This is Ju Yuan. The suspect has fled into the hollow. We're pursuing him inside. Copy that. Oh, I'd have thrown it harder if I'd known he was so tough. How are things going? The culprit ran into the hollow and we're going after him. You two can head back now. Let's follow them and see what happens, Wise. Yuan and Qingyi have gone into the hollow, Wise. While I'm sure they can handle the situation, we should go into the hollow and see if we can help. Yeah, we can't just let him get away with it. Are you mad at him because he almost caused me to have an accident? Even if he hadn't caused that accident, he needs to be held accountable for all the trouble on 6th Street. We can go whenever you're ready. By the way, even though you're angry, remember to keep your distance from Yuan and Qingyi in the hollow. They are still officers, after all. moving west. The precinct's carrot won't last forever. If we act fast, we can catch the suspect before he gets away. Yeah, let's keep going. Master, order received. Assisting security officers Zhu Yuan and Qing Yi in pursuing the fugitives. Multiple biosignatures detected ahead. Presumably the targets requiring assistance. Please utilize your size advantage to approach quietly and provide assistance when needed. Surrender now! Give it up! Wise, listen! They're down there! They just won't give up. Eat this. Ugh, it's an EMP. Jingy, are you? Hold on. 
Ethereals are coming our way. Were they attracted by the EMP? Let's fend them off first. Wise, let's take a closer look. Be careful. The Ethereals are up ahead. Don't worry. I have a full set of ammo with me today. No wonder you were a top student. You're always prepared. Is this what you meant when you said, accept the unexpected? of all those ethereals i didn't expect the emp emitter to affect ethereals so much they just keep showing up if we let him get away he might continue causing trouble yeah and having one means he's likely connected to some sort of gang we have to find him and get to the bottom of this let's check around for anything that could indicate where he's gone no need he went right huh how'd you figure that out so fast trace is in the snow marks in the sand Observe the subtle to catch the culprit from afar. It's a skill passed down over generations. Wanna learn how to do it? Uh, hold on, uh, let me write that down. Uh, slower this time. How did you figure it out? Hmm. Traces in the snow, marks in the sand. Uh, is there a less mysterious way to put it? You make it sound like just a feeling. I guess it is based on a feeling. My right hand feels numb. Ah, uh, I didn't realize the EMP would affect you like that. Are you okay? Yeah, it's nothing serious. It's just... Can we rough him up a bit once we catch him? Well, guess we just have to catch him fast then. That EMP transmitter is a real pain in the neck. You and Eos need to be careful. Ju Yuan and Qingyi are still chasing the culprit. We should get going. Yi, there's a way through here! The Bang Boo can't reach the hole in the wall. There might be a way if we can fix this mechanism. I have connected to the damaged circuit. Master, I found the cause of the damage. A short circuit. You can touch the circuit components and move them around to connect the circuit. Try touching a circuit component. The circuit has been fixed. Nice, we've caught up. How did they catch up again? They're not getting through here. It's closed. We'll have to try and break it open. Look, the switch is right there. We might be able to fix it. <laughs> Ching Yi, something flew by just now.
Let's connect the circuit, just like last time. The circuit has been fixed. <gasps> the door's open! You're incredible, Chingy! That's strange. I barely used any force just now. Problem solved! Let's follow them. Don't use the EMP! It'll draw the ethereals here! <laughs> like I care! They're over there! of an EMP being used here, too. We can do this with our eyes closed already. Let's fix it. The circuit has been fixed. me ha! a single ethereal is no match for me uh why are there so many of them ah! Help! what a satisfying moment that's what you call karma this isn't the time for reflection Chingy. we have to help him
Calm down, sir. All the ethereals around here have already been eliminated. You're safe now. Really? Uh, the ethereals are... I'm safe? Uh, you, you're the pub sec officers from before! What's wrong? Didn't expect us to chase you all the way here? Uh, no. I mean, I'm just surprised, is all. I mean, I've been causing problems for you all, and there were so many ethereals nearby, but... You still took the risk of coming to rescue me. What nonsense. Protecting citizens is our duty as officers. But as they say, what goes around comes around. If it weren't for your misuse of the EMP in town, you wouldn't have found ethereals nearby. Damn. W Wait, was that a poem? According to new Eridu laws and regulations, my colleague and I are arresting you for illegal possession of a dangerous weapon and endangering the safety of others. What's your name? Carlo Maroon. Thank you for cooperating, Mr. Maroon. You have the right to remain silent. Once we're out of the hollow, you can contact a lawyer or get assistance from the Attorney's Association. We should make our way back to the precinct, Ching Yi. Uh, hmm? why, why are you looking around? I kept feeling like there was someone else here besides us. But the feeling suddenly vanished. Like who? You think there are other ethereals nearby? Not an ethereal. Something smaller and more agile. Could just be my imagination. I mean, I did suffer several EMP attacks today, so my senses could still be a bit overwhelmed. Let's go. After we drop off Maroon at the precinct, we should go back to 6th Street and tell everyone the good news. I can't thank you two enough for today. You're welcome. It's an officer's duty and privilege. Public security will contact you for any compensation-related matters, should they arise. You're back! So you caught the suspect? Yeah, we just brought him to the precinct and finished our preliminary interrogation. What was his motive for causing all those incidents? Well, it's all a bit silly, honestly. He claims his initial intention was to use the EMP emitter to steal vehicles, but a lack of expertise led to various unintended outcomes. Isn't possessing an EMP emitter strictly forbidden in the city? How'd he manage to get a hold of something like that? The culprit is a member of a Hollow Raider gang. According to him, they illegally manufactured several EMP emitters to bypass vehicle security systems. Seems like there's more going on than we first thought. We think so, too. That's why we'll interrogate him again to uncover what the Hollow Raiders are up to. But I can't disclose more details about the investigation. I hope you understand. Well, that's about it. We'll be heading back to the precinct now for the second interrogation. Hold on for a moment, officers. Oh, General Chop, was there something you'd like to ask about the case? No, no, you've explained everything clearly. Actually, a few neighbors and I have something we'd like to say. Your help today is greatly appreciated. Not only did you clear gift change of any suspicion, but you also prevented the culprit from causing more harm in the future. And I'd like to apologize for my rudeness earlier. After speaking with my neighbors, we've decided to attend the safety lecture on Saturday. Here are the questionnaires we filled out. Oh, uh, really? Well, it's aimed at enhancing resident safety awareness, after all, so it wouldn't hurt to attend. We heard you were ordered to come here and prepare for the event by Bringer. We can't let outstanding officers like you fail your mission just because we're unhappy with him, can we? Oh, you're too kind. Protecting the safety of the citizens is our duty, but your willingness to attend the lecture helps us a lot, too. Can I also have a questionnaire, officers? I want to attend the lecture, too. Wonderful. Looks like all's well that ends well. <laughs> I guess that's what you call a win-win situation. <laughs> 